Well, what do we have here, Paul? Well, tonight we have the chassis out of an early 70s Magnavox console. These didn't change much over the years. Uh, this is the model that has the speakers molded in styrofoam boxes, if anybody's interested. This one came in for one channel being missing and making funny, scratchy, raspy, you know, bad sounds. I said, fine, I'll bring it in, I'll check it. And I flipped it over and resoldered all the usual suspects, the volume control, the switches, cleaned the switches, a few things around here. Hooked it up, and it still has one channel out and making funny noises. So I started tapping on things and found that I could tap almost any capacitor and get a result. If you rock the capacitor, you really got a result. But the capacitors had checked good in the circuit with the ESR meter. They still check good. But the problem is they're drying out and the wires are loose in the uh, foil. So when you rock them, they open. So I've replaced all the bad ones in the amplifier with new ones, which are significantly smaller. I haven't tested it yet, but I'm sure it'll fix it. Uh, I haven't seen capacitors fail this way before. I guess, you know, you live long enough, I think you'll see everything. So there's the replacements. Got caps in it. This chassis is hard to get power to because there's a separate block that has the power cord and some other things in it. But if you want to power it, there's a two-pin plug right there that powers a little transformer that powers a light in the cabinet. You can stick two wires in there and plug them in to an outlet and you've got power going in. This is like basically parallel to the power transformer. So that beats having to figure out which two of those pins to plug into. Worst case, you can use the accessory outlet and do the same thing. That's a shortcut. Speakers are right there, ground in the middle, left and right. But I was surprised that those caps that check good. Yeah, that's the first bad. time I've ever heard of that. Well, I can't say that I've ever seen it. And it wasn't just one, it was all of them. There's still a few left that they don't seem to be reacting, so I'm leaving them alone because you know they're gonna resell this cheap, so I don't want to put a lot of money in it. But that was interesting that those caps would do that. I just knew when you resoldered all the bad joints, it'd be okay, because it usually is. Clean the switches, you're usually good to go. But these, you could rock them and one channel would cut in and out. It would make an awful noise because the big ones are the output capacitor going to the speaker. So you can imagine the thump you get when those would open. And there were some smaller caps over here, coupling caps. They made an awful noise. But you know if you look at it and you don't see burned resistors or any, any sign of damage, you don't really have a blown channel. It's got to be something else. Switches usually, and coupling caps usually. In this case, it was coupling caps. But I thought that was interesting. Say people wasting a lot of time on these things if uh, they have one like it that fails. And they will. So. Well, thank you, Paul. You're welcome.